Hello, this is Linear Equations and Functions, Piecewise Functions, Example 6. And uh, this story problem talks about um, a summer job and uh, your pay is $7, but you get time and a half for overtime. Uh, time and a half means uh, you get seven dollars plus half of seven. Half of seven is three fifty. So for your overtime pay, you're getting ten fifty per hour. So up to forty hours, you're getting seven dollars. After forty hours, you're getting ten fifty. Okay, and we have to write and graph a piecewise function for this. So. Um, you have to figure out which is the dependent variable and which is the independent variable. And uh, in, in this question, the hours are what they are. Um, and then the pay is determined by uh, how many hours you work. So that makes the hours the independent variable. It is what it is. And then how much uh, money you make depends on the hours, so the uh, that's the dependent variable. That means hours will go uh, corresponds to x, and um, the dollars corresponds to y. So with that in mind, um, uh, it's the x that we're going to break up uh, into the pieces. So I'm going to write x, and I'm thinking of it as the middle of a, a, a double. Uh, um, inequality, so um, it'll be x greater than 0, x uh, less than or equal to 40. There's the, the first piece, that's your regular um, uh, pay, and the way you read this, you start in the middle, go this way, then come back to the middle and go that way. So I'll do it again, x uh, greater than 40, OK, and less than, uh, I don't think there's going to be a, a less than part. We're just going to say x greater than 40. So um, instead of uh, writing it this way, I think I would just write this as x greater than 40. OK. And um, then we'll go from there. Now, for between 0 and 40, the equation is, is very straightforward. It's just um, x times 7. It's just 7x. Seven f x if x is between zero and forty, and x is the number of hours that you work. Now, for greater than forty, we have to take into consideration this seven x. So uh, let's do some figuring out here. It's uh, it's going to be seven x. Oh, actually, it's going to be seven times forty. See, because we're figuring it out if x is greater than 40. So uh, you're already going to make uh, $280 for the 40 hours. And then we have to add whatever it is greater than 40. So we're going to have to take uh, x, the number of hours, and we're going to have to subtract 40. And we're going to have to multiply that times 1050. OK? So uh, th this should make sense. See, if this was, if you're, we're, we're dealing with an x that's greater than 40. So if it was 45, then x would be 45. And 45 minus 40 would be 5. And here's your 5 hours overtime. Here's your $280 for your regular time plus your five dollars over five hours overtime, which would be uh, fifty-two fifty. So this looks like a good equation, um, uh, but I guess we should uh, simplify here 
because you know we can distribute this and then we'll get a number for the 40 times 1050 so uh, let's do that we'll have 280 for that then we'll have uh, plus 10.5 x plus uh, what or minus whatever 40 times 1050 is Forty times fifty is four hundred twenty. So uh, now um, we can combine four twenty and two eighty, and we'll have to subtract the numbers, and the answer will be negative. Four two zero minus two eight zero. That's one hundred forty. So I end up with ten point five X minus one hundred forty. Okay, so that's what it is. It's seven X if X is between 0 and 40 it's 10.5x minus 140 if x is greater than 40 okay um, it's a little sloppy. So, it's a 7x if it's between 0 and 40, and 10.5x minus 140 if it's greater than 40. So, how much will you get paid if you work 45 hours? Well, 45 hours fits into this category, so it's going to be 10.5 times 45 minus 140. So that answer is $332.50.